Hello, in this tutorial I'm going to explain you how to perform a software reset on the SP32 using the Arduino core. As target board I'm going to use a Fire Beetle SP32 board from DF Robot. So our, um, our simple test will be uh, something like this. We are going to uh, start uh, the code in our setup function, in our Arduino setup function, uh, and we are going to open a serial connection, so we are going to output some uh, a very simple message uh, to the serial connection indicating uh, that we are going to reset our SP32 then we are going to do a small delay and after that we are going to restart the SP32 and everything will run again um, and again so basically this is not very useful but uh, my objective with this tutorial is just show you the, the function that needs to be called in order to reset the SP32 obviously this could be used in other uh, use cases uh, for instance, one, one example that I find very interesting is uh, using this restart method uh, behind, an, a sing behind an HTTP web server running on SP32 and providing an endpoint that allows to remotely restart uh, the device uh, to help, for instance, if it enters in a deadlock or something like that um, and cannot leave that state. So this could be an option. There are obvious other use cases for the for being able to restart uh, the SP32 uh, from software, uh, but here we are going to keep things simple. So as I've mentioned, we are going to start by opening a serial connection, and then we are going to print a message just indicating that we are going to restart uh, the SP32. Obviously, I'm leaving a small delay between restarts because I don't want to keep uh, the the device consenting uh, con uh, restart. Uh, over and over and over again uh, with very small delays between restarts since it could damage the device so I'm doing here a, a reasonable uh, value so I can show you the effect of the multiple restarts so now for what matters uh, is this restart method of this ASP uh, object so before I explain you more about uh, this restart method, let me show you where this ASP variable is defined. Basically, that ASP variable uh, is included by default uh, in our code, so we don't need, as you as you saw in the code, there is no need for a, a library include because the, this ASP uh, variable uh, is available by default. So. As you can see here, this ASP variable is an extern variable of ASP class. So this is a class, it is called, this class is called ASP class and it is defined here. And it offers some, um, some uh, methods related with uh, system functionalities of the ASP32. There's plenty of methods that you can analyze here and they are actually very interesting. Uh, but the one that we are going to, to use is this one, the restart, and as you can see it takes no parameters and it returns void uh, and it will perform a software restart on the SP32. So, basically this, this, uh, this is all what we need for the code and as you can see we simply need to restart, uh, to call this restart method and from this point uh, it, uh, all the code uh, will be restarted, the SP32 will restart and all the code will run again from the beginning. I haven't yet upload the code, uh, so I'm going to do it now. Hopefully it doesn't take much time because I had already compiled it. Um, let me see, okay, uh, it's being quite fast, so I'm going to open here the, the serial monitor and as you can see, uh, as expected, this is, pr this is printing the initial restarting message and if we wait a little bit, it should restart. So as you can see, uh, here, we, here we have the, the restart. It was a software restart. I did not click any button in my SP32. And if we wait again, it will do it again. And it will keep doing it in a loop. So this was just a small tutorial to introduce uh, basically this SP variable that I will leave a link in the description for the header file so you can explore a little bit more about the other methods that uh, this offers uh, and they are very interesting and, and they are like system related methods that uh, may be useful for some use cases and how to do a software restart from this point onward you can think about the multiple use cases that you can apply and do a software uh, restart so hope you have enjoyed thank you very much for watching